It's funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them, their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Hey, you're on time. I'm already so fucking over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? <sighs> what is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like Oxy or morphine or something? They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, Mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm going to miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. See, now I feel better. This is why we have friends. We're really white. Uh, oh, guys, what's up? Did I tell you I got an iPhone for my birthday? That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you like once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? That's, uh... Nah, but, like, there's all these cool apps. Like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, but there's apps where you can, like, shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. You mean games? It, it's not even, like, games. It, it's, it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and kill yourself? Um, is that, like, a choke, or are we... Just go! <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. That alone was way too much in the morning. There's no way I'm getting through these classes. Are you gonna skip again? What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day or I'm gonna go insane. Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Oh, you're gonna miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. <sighs> Fine. So where are we even going? Why did we come here if we don't even know what we want to buy? Dude, we're literally in the mall. Just figure it out. Even if I do want something, it's just torture. I have, like, no money. Who said we're buying anything? Just steal the shit. Oh, okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The band? Yeah, they're all in my shuffle, and they might be in town this Saturday. Oh. Is there a problem? No, I'm just surprised you like MSI, because you're so... normal. Bitch, I could cut myself just as much as you do. I just have better shit to do, okay? That's not how it... Uh, okay, so what are we getting? I want a CD. And a shirt if they have one. It's one or the other. Why can't we steal both? You don't steal twice in the same trip. The only people here is us and some dad buying Skechers. Who do you think the security guy is going to have more fun gawking at? He wouldn't look at us. We're like children skipping school. Oh, those children are so hot. How many men do you need to see outed as sex offenders before you start seeing there's a trend? You know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead the way. I always wonder if the big gaudy security tags are for show. They don't even reorganize the CDs. How am I supposed to find this? You're at FYE. What the fuck do you expect? Acknowledgement of the alphabet? Don't you have the songs on your iTouch? What do you even want a CD for? Collection. You put them on a shelf somewhere. Look at my CDs. Who's gonna want to look at your CD collection other than you? Guys who want me bad? See, they think they can manipulate me by pretending to care about my taste in music, but I'm actually manipulating them into learning about my favorite artists. When all along... I have no intention of fucking them in the first place. That's genius. Why is Flaming Lips in the M section? Wait, what is Flaming Lips? Shitty. 
Okay, I'll give it a try. Can you hurry up? I feel like we're 20 seconds away from a guy in a Spitfire shirt asking us what bands we like. Oh, just found it. So how do we sneak it out? Say that again, but just as loud so everyone in the store can hear. I don't do this all the time, Nicole. College stuff and major in shoplifting. Quick, come on. Oh my god, that was such a rush. Yeah, spending money's for posers. Oh, it'll sound so good on my dad's stereo, too. I don't think I've ever heard a single person say stereo without dad in front of it. Well, yeah, stereos are for old people without iPods. Do you think we'll ever end up old people with iPods? Ew, I don't want to think about being old. Yeah, I'd probably kill myself before that happens anyway. If you do, can you, like, leave a note on how you killed yourself in case I want to do it, too? Dude, yeah, what are friends for? Yeah, because my mom was telling me about the Zodiac Killer, and I don't think anyone's going to go out that cool again. Oh, is he the guy with the symbol notes? Oh my god, yeah. It would be cool to go out like that. Think about it. Some infamous shadowy figure kills you and then writes to the news in code about how hot it was when you died. He'd probably say that about every girl he kills. Yeah, no, that's true. If he doesn't specifically say I'm his hottest victim, then fuck off. He can kill someone else. I get that. Do you think we're crazy for wanting that? No, we're just hot. These are hot girl problems. Totally. Should we leave before we get caught, or...? Yeah, let's go to the Chrome Diner. Oh god! Since when are the scanners here? Looks like the jig is up, girls. God damn it! Caught over stealing a 1299 CD. I hope it was worth it. What band did you like so much, huh? He's not wearing a Spitfire shirt. Dude, the CD was hers. She brought it from home to trade in. With the price label and security tag still on it? She collects, right? Yeah, they lose collector's value if you take those off. You girls are gonna need a better story than that. Come on, what? But we have a runner! Free! <laughs> Maybe now you'll think twice about breaking the law. You shot five bullets so she'll think twice next time? Yeah, it could have been less, but I fired with my eyes closed. Little inside challenge down at the precinct. What? Are you actually fucking insane? You know, you remind me of my wife a bit. I want to fucking kill my wife! Oh my god, what? Shut your mouth before I blow your fucking brains out on the tile floor! Oh no, please don't, I'm sorry! Now that's more like it. I'll call you girls an ambulance. One sec. But yeah, do you want to go to my party this Saturday? I don't know, it's just kind of tricky for me lately, like PTSD and everything. One of the guys from All Time Low might be there. I'm fucking All Time Low, I have therapy twice a day now. What happened? You don't remember the news two weeks ago? Oh, that was, um, no I don't. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah, totally, just RSVP by Thursday so we know. What a fucking bitch. Hey. Oh my god, you're out? Yeah, they cleared me last week, but I didn't feel like going to school. You didn't feel like answering your texts either. I thought you were dying. Well, yeah, I was emotionally. I'm always dying emotionally. Yeah, I'm in therapy twice. Yeah, I'm in therapy twice a day. Shit was wild. So what happened with your leg? Oh, yeah, so they said the bullet went deep into my thigh and almost- But they got it out, right? The surgery went well? I mean, I'm walking as well as it could go. What? I don't know. When they were putting me under, I was so afraid they were gonna, like, violate me or something. They're doctors, Nicole. They're not gonna do that. Okay, well, that's what they said about teachers, parents, and police, so who the fuck can we trust anymore? Oh, God. By the way, do you know what happened with that cop? My dad heard they gave the cop paid leave or something. What the fuck? Being a cop has to be the most cathartic job in the world. Really? Think about it. You're some loser with a gun and your wife doesn't want to fuck you, so you go out, shoot a teenager, and get a paid trip to Bermuda. That sounds kind of good, actually. You gonna join the academy? Why would I? I'll never be in a situation where my spouse doesn't want to fuck me, because I'm a perfect 10 with a high libido. How many times a day you say you go to therapy? Hello, girls. Are we staying out of trouble here? Whoa! What are you doing here? After our little skirmish at the mall, the county reassigned me to patrol this school to pay my debt to the youth. So let's stay in school this time, huh? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Okay, bye, dude. Sure, but one more thing. If either one of you get in any trouble, I will not hesitate to fucking oh. murder you. Have fun in school, you girls. Yeah, sure thing. Why Why did they send him here? Dude, you didn't even get shot. Calm down. He said he was gonna blow my brains out, Nicole. Oh my 
God, you're such a poser. What the fuck am I supposed to do? We can't all be sociopaths like you, Nicole. You'll get there. So why are you here? Are you gonna skip again, or what? I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole. You over here, too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just, like... I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know, these teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no, like, yeah, um... Hey, I like your shirt. Okay. It looks kind of deep. Is there, like, any sort of meaning behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? Well, you picked it out, I thought, you know? I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh, well, hold up. I'm not really, like, a bad religion fan. I only like maybe, like, four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but, I mean, it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean, exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, it's like mega fucking cool. Is there like a thing with it? Like a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I, I got time. I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was custom made, and it was basically a whole story on my journey with, like, finding myself. They should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. Aww. And if he loses, he's got to, like... Take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari. What is it? Wait, what? I didn't... Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking... Shut the fuck up. What is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last ten minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two-day project or a three-week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. How would I pitch a game show to Spike TV? You there! Hold it! Here we go. Wait. How could you run this fast? Don't make me call security! Hey, you dropped something. Whoa! That is a shit ton of cocaine. I wonder if it's real. You just wait till I call your parents! Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh... I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way to the bathroom? What, do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, are you going to ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. And as I hope you remembered... Today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Oh my god. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. (laughs) I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously? I guess. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah. Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna f- The office is really close. Yeah, why would you help? The office is really close to my house. Yeah, why would you help? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? <laughs> what did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. <laughs> are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I take it's 200? 
hundred dollars? They're keeping my safe. Holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who? It's a, it's like a non-profit. A non-profit what? A non-profit charity. A non-profit charity for what? A cause. You wanted it for a cause, right? What is the cause? A healthy cause, so people are healthy. And how do they make them healthy? Medicine. So, pharmaceuticals. What's the name of this pharmaceutical non-profit? Ooh, gotta get back to you on that one. You signed up for a charity and don't even know the name of it? It was kind of long. I don't have it in front of me. But it was definitely a charity and definitely for medication to the underprivileged. Where is it? Bitch, no one asked you. I was asking. You're aware you'll need to fill out a form with the location of this charity, right? Just so we know it's not made up. Yeah, totally. I'll get all that for you next class. It was due today. Well... I don't know what to tell you. Is the charity going to disappear because I didn't get it in on time? If you're fine with your grade taking a 10% hit, then be my guest. My policy on all late work. Dude, you need to stop watching C-SPAN. How did you know what I watch at lunch? You just seem like a rules fan. I hope everyone here is a rules fan. This is civics. If rules did anything, wouldn't rape and murder stop happening? It stops most of it. Okay, let's tell all the rape and murder victims that. I'm sure it'll make them feel better. Get your charity in next class and hope I don't fail you for the year. God failed you for your entire life. <laughs> so then my mom's like, he's too old to date you. And I just ask, are you going to buy me alcohol at one in the morning? Exactly. Like, I thought you were supposed to look out for me, Mom. If you don't give me what I want, I'll find someone who will. Dude, totally. We turned 15 and they're entirely clueless to our needs. And getting locked in this bitch eight hours a day means I need the edge off. Is everyone's mom a bitch or is it just us? Uh, Jekka hates her mom, so I guess everyone. Where is Jekka? Probably doing something dumb as shit, like school. Hey guys, what's good? Hi. Why do you always come up to us at lunch? Will you shut the fuck up and let me talk? Bye then. No, no, all right. I just wanted to know if you knew people setting up the county's worship festival next weekend. County's worship festival? Is that like Jesus and shit? Do we look like the type of girls who would go to church? No, it's not like super religious. It's just like a county fair. So what do you want to know? Okay, there's this really hot girl on the organizing committee and I need to get on it. So if you know any religious people, just tell them I want to join. Do we look like the type of girls who know girls who go to church? Who's the girl? I can't tell you that. You might try to ruin it. All of this sounds like an excuse to come up and talk to us. Yeah, are you lonely? What? No. All right, whores. Fuck you then. I think he was lonely. Like, we would even know people who set up church functions. I barely know people at this school in general anymore. Did your friends transfer? No. I always hook up with my friends' boyfriends, so they don't want to talk anymore. Oh, that's why we get along. You have a cheating thing, too? Uh, no. I've just never liked a guy enough to the point of calling him my boyfriend. But good to know you're into that. I'm like a charity for guys sick of their girlfriends. Charity? Fuck, I still have to do that. Do what? I made up a fake pharmaceutical charity for civics, and now I gotta either find a real one or just make up better lies for the fake one. Both sound like a lot of effort. No kidding. Or you could start your own charity, then you're not lying. That sounds like more work than both options put together. Fuck no. You think people actually work at those charity things? They just vacate in Florida and write it off as a conference. How would you know? My fucking piece of shit dad who I want to kill works for a charity business. Is there... Okay, we want to explore that one. No, but that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Oh, and did you hear about Braxton? He tried selling a brick in school. No, I had no idea. To who? Probably a teacher with a coke problem, because I don't know any kid who could afford that. Where would he even... Hey, if it isn't my favorite gym students! We never dressed out when we did it. How are we your favorite students? Oh, I know what you're doing. You want to stay looking nice for your favorite gym teacher. Why would we care about that? I hear how you girls talk about older men, and quite frankly, I support it. You want to say that in front of the principal? Yeah, and it's older men, not ancient men. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're looking for an expensive good time. <laughs> how many times this month has he tried asking us out? Three. But yeah, where would Braxton even get a brick of coke? I think his friend's cousin's in MS-13. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Nothing. It's probably no big deal. Everyone's a little dry from PG County. 
You going to class? Nah, I'm going home. It's 11.30. Been here long enough. Okay, so I need a charity, a way to ditch this fat-ass brick, and money in general. Let's see. I can't just sell the coke, because then they'll go looking for me. I can never kill two birds with one stone. God, this shit feels so good on my gums, too. I try it for real, but I don't know if it'd mix well with my mom's Vicodin. How is this a prescription med? It feels as good as the street drug. I got it! Where's my laptop? How would I word this? How to free base. Now I'm told if you didn't get your community service causes in last time, you better have them today. Oh. Uh. Fuck! Excuse me! <laughs> hey, oh, uh, where's Mr. Katz? Today, I'm filling in for Mr. Katz as he had a medical issue he needed to take care of. So, I had another two days to think of a charity? God damn it. You think because I'm subbing today, I won't enforce your teacher's deadlines? Don't forget, I'm your principal. Oh my. And speaking of deadlines, Mr. Katz took extra care to remind me of your assignment in particular, Nicole. It's your last day to submit or you failed this class for the year. So what do you have for me? Uh, I have my charity. <gasps> what charity might that be? I was told it had to do with pharmaceuticals, so let's not stray too far from any prior narrative. Yeah, whatever. The name of my charity is Medicine Rocks. Medicine Rocks? Yeah, it's a charity that helps get prescription drugs to the underprivileged in PG County. Why haven't I heard of this charity? I don't know, PG County's far? Not that far. Well, they're really underfunded, so they can't get the word out. Wanted to volunteer for something that could actually use some help. What's that supposed to mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck it means. <laughs> girls, girls! <laughs> I'll have to look them up sometime then. They'd have a website, wouldn't they? No, they don't really have anything on the internet because they're underfunded and underprivileged. Not everyone has the technology us well-funded whites do, Miss Lynn. What do you mean by that? If you Google them, you're racist. <gasps> she got you there. Hush! Well, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with you, Nicole. Here's your hour sheet. You'll need 25 hours in the next six weeks. With signatures. Yeah, okay. We operate under the honor system. But don't think I won't keep my eye on you. Oh, I'm wet. What was that? Nothing. Hey, let's see you fail one of these other losers. Anyone else have a charity for me? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for you. Since when do you take elective gym? It's the easiest class ever. You just be skinny and get an A. And get sexually harassed by the gym coach. No, he doesn't do that for the seniors. He thinks we're old enough to tell our parents or something. Ew, I wouldn't tell my parents at any age. Yeah, that's like way too embarrassing. Imagine telling your mom a 50-year-old man wants to eat a Lunchable out of your cleavage. Exactly. Parents and sex are two entirely different worlds. Unless you're in Arkansas. The only way I tell is for a pity dinner at Red Lobster. Hi, Bar. So what do you want? Oh yeah, I have a project I need help with. Nicole, that MySpace girl isn't even fun to bully anymore. No, not that. Another project. Project for what? For school. Since when the fuck do you do any project for school? Since I got a really awesome idea for it, but I need you to bring some stuff over to my house. <sighs> okay, what is it? I need baking soda, a Zippo lighter, some really tiny Ziplocs, and one of your parents' serving spoons. Are you in chemistry now? No, civics. Where the hell am I gonna get really tiny Ziplocs? Is your mom in a jewelry? She would have those lying around. Okay, so Ziplocs, serving spoon, lighter, what else? Baking soda, a whole box of it. Baking soda. Okay, I'll see you after school. Thanks, I'll explain later. How long is it gonna take to find this shit? <laughs> hey, sweet cheeks, you got a minute? Miss Lynn said you're not allowed in the girls' locker room. She don't need to know. Hey, quick question for you. What? Are you familiar with Lunchables Chicken Shake-Ups? Thanks for coming. I know it was super short notice. Yeah, so what do you need all this shit for? Okay, don't freak out. You found it? Was this yours or something? No, there's a rumor going around that some gang kid lost a huge thing of coke at our school. That Braxton kid just ditched it in front of me while running from school security. And you didn't think, oh, that's a lot of illegal drugs, maybe more trouble than they're worth. Since when are we afraid of the law? I'm not talking about the law, I'm talking about MS-13's name on the side of the fucking bag. They're gonna kill you if they find out. How do you know who MS-13 is? One of my friend's cousins was in MS-13. I guess everyone's friend's cousin's in MS-13. Now, and no way it's MS-13. Why would a gang put their name on their drugs? 
What if it was supposed to be delivered to them? What shitty-ass drug dealer would keep their customers' names in writing? A really fucking stupid one? Isn't stupid enough to bring this to a public school? All right, don't worry about it. They won't even know we had it when we're finished. Finished with what? You brought the supplies, right? Yeah, for... You brought me here to cook crack? Yeah, what else is baking soda for? I don't know, baking? Dude, why are you freaking out? We've had drugs before. Yeah, perks and robo, not go to jail drugs. Okay, just let me borrow your stuff. I need the community service hours. What does making crack do for the community? Nothing. Selling crack's another story. We live in cul-de-sacs. Who's gonna buy this? I'm not selling it here. Oh my god, this is gonna ruin my parents' serving spoon. Just buy another one. It's from Tiffany! Why would you bring a Tiffany serving spoon to make crack? You never told me what it was for! Look, calm down. This'll take like an hour at most. I think we're getting the hang of this. We filled so many baggies. But how do we know if it's good? The guy on the internet said if you break one of the little shards, it should give a really nice snap. That was bad. Try another one. Oh, it worked. So it's good enough. God, my gums are still numb from rubbing this shit. It's good, right? Oh my god, yeah. I want to try coke for real, but I feel like I'd kill someone on it. Oh. I just don't want to OD, but good to know your potential. All right, the whole room smells like burnt plastic, so I think we made enough today. My parents are going to be so mad when they see this spoon. Just leave it here. It's better lost than ruined. That's true. Okay, I gotta go to PG County now. Can you give me a ride? I'm not driving to PG County, Nicole. What if my car gets stolen? Oh, so you'll freebase crack but won't drive through a black neighborhood? What are you, Ronald Reagan? I helped you with your community service project. You won't guilt me into anything. Okay, just drive me to the Franconia station. I'll take the metro. Fine, but I'm not driving you back. No problem. I'll have plenty for a cab when I'm done. Should have looked up how to actually sell drugs before I came out here. Hey, what's up? Hey, what you got? You wanna buy some crack? Whoa! Damn, I did sound like a cop, huh? Hey, Mo. What you need? What you got? I got rocks, bricks, white Legos. Uh, uh, how much? Hundred for the baggie. Uh, uh, here you go. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. What? Could you sign my community service hour sheet? I'll give you an extra rock. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, just any fake name, it's fine. I pee. A hundred bucks and a two-hour signature. I think this is gonna work out. Cool. Now that I've called roll, I just wanted to apologize for my absence. I know you've all been working very hard on your community service assignment. Has everything been okay? Not to get too far into detail, but I've been having some personal health issues arise and have needed time away from my teaching duties. Oh, well, we hope you're all right. I don't give a shit. Here. Oh, is attendance over? Sorry. So nice of you to join us. Late as always. Fuck you. You've been gone the last three classes. <laughs> he had a medical issue. Yeah, I do too. It's called liking post-rock. No one rolls out the red carpet for me. Just have a seat, Nicole. You can have this dick, bitch. <laughs> Dude, why are you freaking out? All right, Nicole. You act like you own the place, so I assume you're a top of the class in community hours? I might be. Pull out your sheet then. Let's see what our star student has for us. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Of course. As I expected, you... Wait, how many is this? I don't know, I lost count. 16, 18, 22 hours? Wow. I only have three. All the signatures are different, different ink used every time. It's only been a week and a half and you're 90% done. <gasps> I'm kind of awesome like that. I'm shockingly surprised, Nicole. Good to see you really took the initiative for getting these hours. And aside from just the hours, I'm really building a reputation in the community. Anytime someone's in need, they know who to call. Quite the turnaround indeed. All right, who else has their sheets to show? Nah. What do you mean, nah? Why not? It's gay. <laughs> Excuse me? What does helping the community have to do with one's sexuality? Uh, it has to do with it's gay. <laughs> you think that way now, but go above and beyond for this. Get 50 hours. You'll get a framed certificate from the National Honor Society. Why would anyone want that? It means you really made a difference in life. For years, you can hold on to it, show it to your grandkids one day. Who would do that? Yeah, imagine you're 80 and you haven't accomplished anything beyond a community service hour sheet. <laughs> all right, all right. Who else has a sheet for me? 
Nicole, I'm busy. Well, what is it? Oh, good. So I can leave? No. Why were you sent here? One of the security people said I was violating the dress code. Well, it looks like there's a gun on your sweatshirt, so yes. Take it off. I, I don't really have anything under this. Then turn it inside out and get back to class. Ew, how do I turn a hoodie inside out? It's gonna be weird and itchy. You really don't have anything on under that? Like a sport bra? Well, we can't just have you in that. Are you sure? I think your gym teacher would love it. Please, Nicole, I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. What's the big deal over a drawing of a gun on my hoodie? Have you already forgotten Virginia Tech? Oh, so some Asian guy shoots up a school and now we can't wear cool hoodies anymore? It could promote the wrong message. Who's gonna think I would shoot up a school? He was only a mass shooter because he's weird and ugly. I'm kind of the opposite of that. All right, fine. Wear it for the rest of the day, but don't bring it to school again. Whatever. Oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. What? I've been told of your quick turnaround in civics. Congratulations on your hours. Oh, yeah, don't mention it. A night and day difference in no time at all, really. Where'd you find the motivation for it? Uh, I don't know. The community, I guess. The community? You love the people that much now? Yeah. Look me in the eye and say that. What are you, my dom? Is there something you'd like to tell me, Nicole? Can I tell you to fuck off? You're free to go. I'll be watching. Yeah, right. Oh, hey, Nicole. What's up? What's good? Yeah. Cool. So, I, I just wanted to ask if you were busy this weekend. Fucking why? I got to do a video for a class project and was kind of wondering if you could be in it. Why can't you ask the other 30 people who take the class with you? Yeah, um, it's like... I don't know. I feel like they're going to flake on me. And a girl who doesn't take the class, doesn't even like you, she's going to come through. W you don't like me? I hate you. <laughs> Dude, like, quit like, you're always kidding around and stuff. You're crazy though. It's cool. I'm not laughing. No girl randomly recruited for your class video will ever want to fuck you. Whoa, whoa. Quit jumping around to shit. What's the end game then? You're going to awkwardly go up to a girl just to be friends? Well, I mean... Friends can have a lot of definitions to it. Is there a definition where you blow your brains out with a shotgun while I sit and watch? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you do that? What else are friends for? So, uh, are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, and she wouldn't want to fuck you either. Bro, you're acting wild. How can you even say something like that? Hey, sorry, I got held up in math. Jekka, would you fuck Crispin? Ew, no! See, no one wants to fuck you. You guys are just... <laughs> Man, you guys are wild. Fuck off and leave! <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, guys. What the fuck are you talking to him for? Dude, I don't know. I was alone and he came up to me. You know they get brave when we're alone. What was the holdup? I was flirting with my teacher. For business or pleasure? He's 50. What do you think? I was trying to get an A-. minus. Cool, yeah. I might finish with an A for the year in civics at the rate I'm going. He bought it? He doesn't have to buy anything. They're real signatures. I'm amazed you haven't been killed yet. Oh my god, if you just keep to yourself, no neighborhood's all that dangerous. You're not keeping to yourself, you're selling crack. Yeah, and PG loves me for it, so there's no reason to kill me. Okay, we'll see. Dude, you're such a hater. You sound like Bitch Lynn right now. What Bitch Lynn do this time? I got called in over my bay hoodie, and then she got all on my ass over doing well in civics. Why wouldn't she be happy about that? She thinks I'm cheating by not actually doing community service. It's like suspicious or whatever. You're not actually doing community service? Yeah, I am. You're selling drugs in PG County. How does that help their community? I have really good prices. Giving pregnant women two-for-ones on crack rocks doesn't benefit the country. Oh, uh, what? So now pregnant women have less rights than the rest of us? No. Okay, do whatever the fuck you want. That's what I planned on. You want to come with me tonight? I'd rather date my ugly math teacher. How would you rather do that? Because if the police show up, I won't be the one getting arrested. Man, I was going to cut you in and everything. All right, then suit yourself. Uh, so you in school, or...? Yeah, that's what the hour sheet's for. After tonight, I'll probably be all done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I thought you got out to prison or some shit. Right? But no, I'm too white and pretty to go to jail. Hey, the fuck, bitch? You wild saying that shit. You wild. You anything. What, do you want me to lie? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh-huh. Well, I got packs to move, so if you could... Nah, yeah. I'll see you some other time with it. Damn, Crocs gotta be awesome if it has this many repeat customers. Is this a cop? Hey, if you're a cop, do you have to tell me that you're a cop? White guy buying rocks in PG? Yeah, you're definitely a cop. I'm not a cop! Wait, you sound familiar. 
Is that Mr. Katz? Keep your voice down. Did Miss Lynn send you to spy on me? No. Just take the money and let me leave with it. Holy fuck, you weren't missing class because you're sick. You're a crackhead. I said keep it down. I mean, if you want to buy, no problem. But are you allowed to sign my hour sheet? This was your charity? Yeah, I sell shit for cheap. I'm the great white hope of PG County. I thought it was a pharmaceutical charity. Medicine rocks? Yeah, as in crack rocks, duh. That's downright evil. Wait till I tell the school board you're cheating on your hours. Wait till I tell the school board you're buying Ready Rock off one of your students. Fine. We'll both keep our mouths shut. Now give me the stuff. Done deal. Here you go. Freeze! Huh? Oh, shit. A little midnight marketplace here? How'd you let the cops tell you? Actually, sweetheart, the cops tailed you. We got a tip from a school principal across the Potomac. Shit! We got a runner! What the fuck? Uh, now we gotta call in a body bag. Did you just kill my civics teacher? It was a calculated risk, but it paid off. Dude, just shoot me, too. I can't fucking handle this shit. Nonsense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. In the... You waited two weeks to visit me? Okay, if you're gonna be a bitch about it, I can go now. No, I'm so bored in here. Don't go. That's what I thought. So how's Dale? I've been trying to kill myself every day for the last two weeks, but there's, like, no options. It's not the loony bit, and there's no options at all. Oh my god, there's no sleeping pills, no sharp objects, the sheets rip easily, and the guards walk by every hour so you can't even bleed out with the razor blades. Wait, how long are you even serving? The public defender was like three years with good behavior. You're trying to kill yourself over three years? I only came here because I thought you'd be in for 20. Two weeks in here feels like 20. There's only one TV in the whole block and all it plays is UPN reruns. And that's not even around anymore. Yeah, so I'm going insane. They lock you in here to turn your brain into mush. Fucking every night you try going to bed, you just hear weird echoey moans in the distance. Why are they moaning? I don't know. You can't tell whether they're having sex or withdrawing from heroin. Wow, sounds kind of like torture. But I guess that's how the system works to make you not sell crack anymore. It's a broken ass system. They just assume we hustle for fun. Well, yeah, I mean, aren't there other things you can do besides selling drugs? Not for us. You're born into bullshit, no tools to get out of it, and they still want to act like it's your fault. They want to act like you want to be in jail, like you didn't know the consequence. No shit I knew, but it's either suffer out there or suffer in here. And when you get out, it's even more bullshit. P.O., ankle monitor, drug tests, felony record. It's almost like you had less problems on the inside. The system's educational for everyone but the prisoner. This is a maze and we're the rats. But most days you'd rather die than get to the finish. Now all I think about is dying. I guess 50 was right. Right about what? Is get rich or die trying. I did what I had to. You're white. What? You're white, Nicole! You didn't have to do anything! That's what you think. What I know is we live in cul-de-sacs, and you don't have to sell crack when you live in a cul-de-sac! I didn't even totally mean financially. Like, my parents were mean to me and shit. It, like, makes you make bad decisions. You sold crack to a pregnant woman because your mom was mean to you? Yeah, sorta. So, all you did was take your little problems and turn them into someone else's bigger problems. They weren't little to me. You better turn Islamic and pray the judge agrees with that. Can white people be Islam? I don't know. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you next week, maybe. Oh wait, no, no, don't go! I always thought I had a bad memory until I spent two years in jail. No one has a bad memory. Some are just more distracted than others. And aside from really cool fights breaking out, there aren't a ton of distractions in jail. I haven't had a visitor in 16 months. You go by months when you're locked in here. And you're left with your thoughts as your only entertainment. See, I went in rolling my eyes, oh yeah, I'll learn. But they eventually break you down into this lame self-reflection no matter how hard you fight it. But there's no psychologists in here, no therapists in here, no nothing. So yeah, I feel like I've changed, but what if I'm getting worse? Every now and then I'm reminded what Jekka was trying to say last time she visited me. Every new inmate story kind of paints the picture. One had to feed their kids. Another was forced in a gang. Some girl had to kill her husband. All I wanted to do was fill out an hour sheet. So compared to everyone else, I guess it was kind of messed up in the long run. Maybe that's my lesson. 
Two years ago, I never would have considered I'm wrong. I really have changed. Now to just serve my time, get back in society, maybe make some new friends, and buy a gun to murder my fucking principal with. I'd shoot her in the legs first, watch her cry for mercy before I finish her off. Change feels pretty good.